all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the heart uh, in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop uh, you go be the first we will collect them uh, Mazin and the canon's lawyer have made a shocking revelation uh, on and the Kenan, the Kano's lawyer uh, speaks on secret meeting uh, between Tinubu and the IPOB leader. You don't shell it. <laughs> um, it's like something is going on. It's like um, uh, the people where they feel say, I got Tinubu and him people, then where they feel say they be strong dead head. Uh, it be like say they don't they beg from underground, though. You know, saying as so politicians they do. Uh, they feel not talk I'm open. Uh, but if it come underground, what they beg you, they tell you, say, oh, God, wait till you go need, uh, how we go settle this matter, because, uh, you know, big man, get pride. But meanwhile, let's go down to that details, make you follow me, go down, and uh, make me go see, waiting the sub between Mazen and the canal, uh, and the Tinubu, which secret meeting will be said they hold. If I need your for counsel to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nam the canal has reacted, on alleged secret meeting between President Bola Tinubu and the IPOB leader in the villa. A post on social media has claimed that Kanu, who has been in the DSS custody since June 2021, was scheduled to meet with President Tinubu by 11 a.m. on Wednesday. According to the post, the IPOB leader will be presented with documents to review. Discussion will be held at exactly 11 a.m. Nigerian time Today at Asorok section, after discussion, documents will be presented to him for review. We have no idea yet what this document contains, but we have got an eye on what and would on, on that and would bring you updates on that too. The poster read, "His release process would kick off as soon as possible after the meeting today. The Supreme Court would now step in." and all would be done. Remember the exposition last week, due process would be followed, but the end point remains the same, Kano would go home soon. <laughs> uh, when I don't see, uh, make we still go down, uh, I see they go, <laughs> uh, because what I see they go, he say, however, uh, a Jofo denied knowledge of such meeting, describing the information as fake and unfounded, being propagated by anonymous fake persons. A Jofo who said that the same information was posted on Facebook by anonymous explained that I was with Nam Dekano on Monday and he did not mention anything like that. There is no such a meeting. It is useless information being published on social media by an, by an anonymous person. Someone had sent the post from Facebook to me earlier this morning but I said I speak on such issues because it makes no sense. I wonder how possible it is that Kano will be having such a meeting without any of his lawyers knowing. I was with Nam the Kano on Monday and what we discussed was about his case coming up at the Supreme Court on Thursday. That is what he asked me to inform Chief Ozekome about. He did not say anything about any meeting and he did not ask me to tell Ozekome anything. All I can say is that I don't have any knowledge of any meeting, and Nam the Kano did not inform his lawyers about any meeting. It is fake information being circulated by non-credible bloggers who claim anonymous. Uh, my people watch at all. Because um, uh, everybody knows MNK Ohamadike 1, uh, of Ndibo, uh, that he is a man of simplicity, and in his simplicity, he is a man of wisdom, and his wisdom is a man with strict discipline and procedures, ways of doing things. Uh, I don't think that uh, even as in uh, and if you look at the personality of MNK, I think um, you don't need to be told that. Um, that guy uh, must have been given many offers, you know, to step down on his um, to step down or to forfeit the struggle 
Uh, but I think um, maybe he must have uh, 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 refused on those uh, 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 on those um, deals that must have been given to him to agree to uh, because of the kind of man he is. Uh, you remember that there was a time um, there was an invasion in his father's compound in Afaruku Ibeku uh, at the state uh, where the men of the NIG military invaded his house. And um, upon that invasion, uh, many people lost their lives. Uh, I think and there are more than 20 or more who lost their life uh, in that incident. And still upon that, this guy still held his ground uh, that is not going to compromise, I guess, because he loves his people so much and he has stood on the path of truth and have maintained uh, that his people who are the Biafrans must go with their freedom. And um, he is very resolute. He is very uh, consistent uh, with that dream and that vision that he had. And he believed that um, him coming out from the DSS detention will be for the victory of his people. And um, of course, you know that um, the government knows some of these things. They understand these procedures. They know. Uh, the same thing happened to uh, Nelson Mandela. I think Nelson Mandela spent 20 years plus in the, in the, in the prison. And when he came out, he came out with victory. And um, Kano himself has stood on, on the words of Nelson Mandela, on the words of people like um, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And also on the words of uh, Mahat Gandhi. Uh, if you are a reader, if you are a man who reads, and if you have read uh, documentaries of Martin Luther King during uh, 1947, 1950, and, you know, those days, you will find out, you know, what transpired, what happened, you know, in America those days, whereby the, 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 the blacks were not given opportunity to exercise their self-human rights. Even after uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln declared uh, that there will be no more slaves in America, uh, some slave masters still held their slaves because this world is all about information. Uh, many of the uh, uh, African citizens then who were held in slavery did not know uh, that Abraham Lincoln had set them free and Lincoln had declared that there would be no more slaves uh, in America. And some of them were still held under the, their tax master. They were still working as if they were slaves without knowing until information started going around. Even some of these people still worked as slave almost for like 10 years after Lincoln must have uh, declared them free. And after Lincoln must have set them free because they lacked the, the information. And when uh, people like Martin Luther King, who was the son of Luther, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., who was the son of Martin Luther Sr., uh, came out with his, um, with his ideologies, his wisdom, who started you know, fighting for the cause of the blacks in America, there was a lot of lynching, there was a lot of killing, there was a lot of things, a lot of things happened, you know, during that time uh, because uh, the, the whites, you know, especially in some of the places, uh, places like Alabama and the rest of them, you know, we are, we are fighting tooth and nail uh, that the blacks are not supposed to, you know, uh, 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 occupy some positions in the government. And then, if you are a black man and you are aspiring for a better position, I think it is a no-no for you uh, because the whites then will gang up for you. They will, they will bring up a gang up for you to make sure that you, then, you did not get up to that position. But as time may have it, Nelson, uh, time may have it, Martin Luther King kept on writing, kept on preaching, kept on moving from one program to another, from one conference to another, educating his people, educating the blacks, you know, re, re, you know, there is what is called recalibration, brain uh, recalibration. Uh, I think uh, I think this is what most Africans need uh, because I think uh, most people lack the reading ability. So if there is a speaker like um, MNK, and I think uh, if you look at what is happening to MNK, you find out that this is the reason why he have been he have been held in captive so that his voice will not be heard again because his voice carries the power of freedom his voice carries the power of enlightenment his voice carries um the power the the, 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 the power of enlightenment the power of education and i think um his mission upon the face of the earth is to educate people to take them to the path of freedom 
and bring them to that land of freedom and where they belong. And um, the, the, the government officials, Parastata House, uh, does not like to see people like that uh, because when people like that, they appear once in a generation and people like that are there to spoil show uh, for the government. And when they see this kind of people, they fight to the nail uh, to make sure that such people are being shot. But uh, by the Chuko Hikabi, my God Almighty, he, whenever he raised such people, they pass through temptation, they pass through persecutions, they pass through trials, they pass through so many things, but at the end of everything, they still emerge winners. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to take it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.